Hi, everybody. All right, we got a little shorty here to start off the week. A shorty, but a goody. So in this video, we are installing the Airwolf remote oil filter system for the plane. Uh, <clears throat> the reason behind this is that there's not a lot of room between the engine and the firewall in an RV-14. It's very short. And so being able to move the oil filter out from the back of the engine is just great if you have the room. Uh, fortunately, uh, there is plenty of room, and you'll see that in a second. So I ordered the kit from uh, Spruce. I also ordered the custom hoses from Aircraft Specialty, which is where I buy all my hoses. I'm, I'm, I think I have them on my friendly links list. If not, I've got to put them on. Uh, because the kit itself does not come with hoses, because it's just a universal uh, home-built kit. And it's the cheapest one, which is another great thing about you know, experimental aviation. And it's a very simple install. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't get to see the actual install of the unit to the back of the engine, because that was lost in the crappy memory card fiasco. Oh, and it was. Sorry, quick break here. Here I am adding an elbow to the front of the fuel system. Okay, so if you look in the very bottom center of the video there, you'll see that heavily anodized piece of metal. Well, it's kind of spray-painted gold. That is the Airwolf uh, oil filter adapter that goes in the back of the Lycoming. So the plain oil filter adapter that come uh, that's on the Lycoming comes off. Uh, you take the you know old gasket off, which, since this is a new engine, basically just came off. <clears throat> uh, clean it, and then you install this adapter. Same for bolt supply, it's got its own special uh, gasket you put on. And you'll notice that there's two things bolted to the back of it. Now there's, what you can't see is that through the bottom is where the oil lines are. And if you look at the top you can see that it tells you which, door, which uh, hose fits into what. Anyway, the two things that plug into the back are the vernotherm and the oil temperature probe if you have one. Uh, the Vernotherm is basically the thermostat of the engine and tells the oil when to go into the oil cooler. And the, well, the oil temperature probe is just that. The Garmin kind of needs it. So over here on the left side of the fuselage, you can see that there's a lovely huge of, uh, amount of free room that we can use to mount the filter. which is why Aircraft Specialty makes the hoses perfect for this. And like I said, it's a very simple install. So you just put the hoses on, and then you let the hoses dictate where the best placement for the filter goes onto the firewall. <clears throat> now, the trick to this is you want to have zero stress, right? Because you're already, you're already putting holes into your firewall. Now, there is a big doubler that goes in, uh, <clears throat> and we are definitely installing that because you will be putting stress. This will put stress on the firewall, right? torquing on and off, you know, oil filters, uh, you know, just the engine running, the pumping of the oil, the, it will put some stress on there. And so you want to make sure that you don't drill any holes until you have put the filter in a nice neutral location so that it doesn't cause any undue, like, loaded stress, right? And, yes, I know you're curious, uh, the horn still fits <laughs> for now. All right, um, let's see, is there any other shocks about this? No, like, like, like I said, look, there, there's the thing, goes right on it. Now, you do have to safety wire the bolts on the top together. We'll be doing that in a different video. Uh, <clears throat> before we go, so here is a picture of it perfectly installed. Check it out. Looks good, right? All right, in the next video, more wiring, more engine fun. Thank you for joining me, Season.